working with different efficiency. What is efficiency? The comparison of what is actually produced or performed with what can be achieved with the same consumption of resources. Let's consider the following example. A can do a piece of work in 20 days and B can complete the same piece of work in 30 days. If A and B work together, in how many days will they complete the same work? If the total work is 1, then A can complete 1 by 20th and B can complete 1 by 30th of the total work in one day. Thus, when working together, they complete 1 by 20th plus 1 by 30th of the entire work. On simplifying, 5 by 60th of total work will be completed in one day. Therefore, to complete the total work A and B take 1 by 5 by 60, which is 60 by 5, that is 12 days. Let's solve a slightly complicated problem. Jack can do a piece of work in 12 days. His wife, Jenny, can do the same piece of work in 15 days. James, their son, can do the same piece of work in 30 days. Jack starts the work and Jenny joins him after 3 days. 3 days before the work is completed, Jack leaves and James joins the work. In how many days will the work be completed? Jack can complete 1 by 12th of the work in one day and works alone for the first 3 days. Hence, he completes 3 into 1 by 12th of the work. Jenny, who joins Jack after these 3 days, can complete 1 by 15th of the work in one day. Assume that they worked for x days. Hence, they completed x into 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15th of the work in x days. In the last 3 days, only Jenny and James worked on the piece of work and hence finished 3 into 1 by 15 plus 1 by 30. The sum of the work done in these 3 segments is equal to 1. On solving this equation, we will get x as 3. So, it is evident that they can complete the work in 9 days. Using this method to solve such questions has multiple drawbacks. Firstly, forming equations and solving using fractions is not an easy task and you are likely to make mistakes. Secondly, this method has a lot of intermediate steps which are not ideal for aptitude solving. Let's learn a new, easy and faster approach to solve complicated questions in time and work. Observe the earlier question carefully. Here, the question speaks of a certain piece of work, but the nature of work or the amount of work to be done is not specified. Let us assume that the work to be done is the eating of chocolates. Why chocolates? Because it is easy to imagine and who doesn't like chocolates? So now, the first step in the process is to assume the amount of work to be done which is nothing but the number of chocolates to be eaten. So let's assume that 100 chocolates have to be eaten. In this case, if Jack can eat 100 chocolates in 12 days, then he can eat 100 by 12 chocolates in one day. Also Jenny and James will take 100 by 15 and 100 by 30 days each. Oh ho! fractions and not again. What number should we assume such that we don't encounter fractions? Right. We should assume a number that is a common multiple of the time taken by the individuals. In fact, to make the problem simpler, we need to consider the least common multiple that is the LCM. Let's try this in the given question. The LCM of 12, 15 and 30 is 60. If Jack can eat 60 chocolates in 12 days, then he can eat 60 by 12 which is 5 chocolates a day. Jenny who can eat 60 chocolates in 15 days can eat 4 chocolates a day. Similarly, James can eat 2 chocolates a day. Let's see this problem in 3 segments as follows. In the first segment, Jack worked for 3 days. Since he can eat 5 chocolates a day, he ate 15 chocolates in 3 days. Since we do not know the number of days spent by Jack and Jenny in the second segment, let's move on to the last one. 
In this segment, Jenny and James work for the last three days. Since they can eat six chocolates a day, they would have eaten a total of 18 chocolates. Notice carefully that 15 plus 18, 33 chocolates out of 60 chocolates are eaten in these two segments. It is obvious that the remaining 27 chocolates were eaten in the second segment. Now, Jack and Jenny together can eat 9 chocolates a day. To eat 27 chocolates, they must have taken a total of 3 days. Hence, the work will be completed in 3 plus 3 plus 3, 9 days. That wasn't so difficult, was it? This method is called the chocolate method and can be used to solve any problem in time and work. Again to summarize the four steps to be used in the chocolate method. First, assume the amount of work to be done by taking the LCM of the terms involved. Two, consider this LCM to be the number of chocolates to be eaten in order to complete the task. Three, determine the number of chocolates that each person eats in a day. Four, the remaining problem can be solved according to the conditions given in the question. Let us solve more problems under this concept.